This is now the top skin, um, which I've prepared the uh, wing now for. I've put the spark cap in the in the uh, groove for the top skin, and I'm going to wet out this uh, top skin. But I need to incorporate a peel ply hinge in here. Um, and I've predetermined where that is. I've made very faint uh, pen mark on the glass here to show me exactly where this um, needs to be. That's all pre-calculated. So what I have here is I have some peel ply on a strip of masking tape with um, the masking tape, the sticky side up, obviously the peel ply down. And it's just a way of, of cutting it so it doesn't all fray and get all out of shape. And um, it allows me to wet out and transfer this over to the wing. So first and foremost, I'm just going to dab resin into this peel ply. You can do this on a piece of plastic as well if you want, but I find the masking tape is quite nice. Sort of holds the, the peel ply in place whilst you're cutting it. I'll just stick a strip of peel ply down, of masking tape down on the peel ply and take a very sharp blade and cut next to a steel ruler. Now you'll also notice that the red tracer yarns in this peel ply are again at 45 degrees. Uh, that is basically so that I get two fibers crossing the hinge line. So if I cut it at 45 then there's two fibers crossing. If it was cut at 0, 90 and there's only one fiber. This can be running parallel, but there's only one fiber. But if you put it at 45, then there are two fibers crossing the hinge line. So basically doubling up on the amount of fibers going across your hinge line, making this a bit more effective. Right, so that's now sort of wet out, and we'll come back to that in a moment. I've got one layer of glass cut and filled lying there. I've got my second layer over here, and I have now, I'm just going to wet this out in my normal fashion, just dribble some resin onto the glass here. Now the reason why I've kind of put, folded this one back is because I want the peel ply to be encapsulated between two layers of glass. So. I've got a strip of glass lying here, ready to go over the peel ply in this area. And this will come over the peel ply in this area. So I'm just wetting out this glass quickly, so I can put the peel ply into position. And so I've got a very really faint uh, pen line on there. Now just pick up this peel ply and masking tape strip and turn it over now so the masking tape is on the top and just align it on my marks there we go so that's now nicely in position just tap this down and then we take the masking tape off just lift up the masking tape and then just dab the peel ply down onto the fabric. And a bit of peel ply of masking tape can get turfed. Right, so now we have Peel ply in position, and I'll just carefully fold this bit of glass back over, and now we're ready to wet out the rest of the fabric on the peel ply. I'm not going to show you this whole process, you've seen that already. Uh, one thing I will just show you is I'm going to position this strip of glass, which is cut slightly wider than the peel ply. I'm going to just position this piece of glass over here. 
so that the peel ply is now encapsulated basically between two layers of glass. That will make sure that it stays nicely positioned. There we have it. So now it's just a case of wetting all this out and then transferring it onto the wing. And we'll show you the, the rest of the process once we've got that done. I'll show you how we do the trailing edge of the wing before we put this on. Alright, so let me just switch off my camera.